she feeling the nigga charisma. You know what I'm saying? Come out the room with a box full of jewelry. Fuck I supposed to do? Say hell nah. <laughs> Boom, I had just spent $20,000 moving into a, a motherfucking uh, a townhouse. I gave that motherfucker to my brother and ducked off of her shit on my life. Boom, so goddamn, she come out there, motherfucker. She like, my last nigga, I gave my last nigga 100,000, he still owe it to me, but I got all that jewelry. I'm like, shit, try to sell that motherfucker, try to sell him and get your money back. Did some internet shit before, you feel me? But I'm, I find this out after, goddamn, I'm over this bitch and all this shit going on. Now my people don't tell me, boy, you know she, boy, hold on, boy, watch yourself now, you know she be playing the internet game. Boy, I'm in the house, bro. The nigga come. The ex nigga come for the jury. Bro, <laughs> let me show you some shit, bro. Boy, I used to grab my gun and shit. I'm, mm -hmm. like, I'm like, who that is at the door? Cause she like, like a the... like somebody got some of mine in there. Oh, mama, bro. Yeah. She like, it's the nigga. As soon as I left that bitch alone, get what she said. Oh yeah, I know where I know where you be at. I'm finna, I'm back fucking with um. With Woo Doo Woo, I'm finna send him over there to get his shit. Woo Doo Woo. For real? I said send him. Did he show up? Nope. Now niggas wanna loom me to death. Salute Loom. Yeah, Salute exactly. Loom. It's my man Loom. <laughs> That's my man too. Both Looms. Old Loom, new Loom. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Yeah, All ops must know it's up there and it's stuck there, nigga. When it's up there, man, it's stuck there. Shut up. In this industry too, I saw before where you had a um, a situation with a girl, and she Which came one? out. Oh, the biz. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I want to talk to you about that because I want to one talk about how or ask you: Do you think that stuff like that dating a rapper's baby mama affects? the relationship in the industry of yeah. things. You yeah. think that? Boom, but I ain't even think about it at first like that, you feel me? But it was like, like, I ain't even gonna say, I ain't even gonna say her, but girls, bro, girls play dangerous games, you feel me? Like, girls play dangerous games. You'll be laying with a girl and shit, try to talk about a nigga and everything, you gotta cut that shit short. No, I don't, mm -mm. feel me? It's cameras in the room and everything, motherfucker try to bring a nigga name up and shot it. So I always cut that type of shit short, like, I don't, I don't even, y'all, yeah, that's y'all baby together. That's y'all kid. You feel me? I don't even want to. Nah, I'm cool. I ain't gonna lie. I'm right. Cool. I'm straight. I don't even want to talk about this shit. So I feel like I ain't never do nothing wrong that'll fuck up no, 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 no relationship that me and Brooke have. You feel me? Right. Unless, unless she dare not lie and try to say some shit. You feel me? Right. And I take him to BP. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Play. The Brooke way play. he. I don't think he give a fuck about that. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. So you think, but you think most times the women can kind of cross the head. Yeah, what? Yeah, nah, bro. Yeah. Hey, you, you got a partner just died over a bitch the other day, didn't it? You got a partner just died over a bitch the other day, didn't it? What two what Tupac said? He, he just lost a partner two days for a bitch. Nigga, 53 years old, damn gun violence over a bitch. Oh, my mama. Pac 53 said, nigga, years old? 53, gun violence. God. If what Tupac. happened with that? <laughs> <laughs> Man, For real, fuck you fuck. gotta be careful. Then you were laid up in the house with like Boom. I, so see? I, 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 I ain't getting nobody to the store, but I'm gonna keep it all the way a hundred with you. You feel me? Oh my, all right. So this is where that motherfucker gonna come out. I had a little homeboy, look crazy at homeboy. Boom. The police going to every studio, bro, with a bond with my name, with my face on the brim. All my homeboys and you feel me? I had to uh, get low. Boom. I get low at her shit. You feel me? This we just met though. You feel me? I'm like, yeah. I ain't gonna. She stayed. 40, 50 minutes out of the city. Yeah. I know for a fact nobody finna, you know what I right. mean? They ain't coming Boom. in. So far. that's why I'm over this motherfucker. So me being over that motherfucker, she feeling the nigga charisma. You know what I'm saying? Come out the room with a box full of jewelry. Fuck I supposed to do? Say, hell nah. I mean, fuck this. Right. Hell nah. Mama. So that's what, that's what I was doing over there. Boom, I had just spent $20,000 moving into a, a motherfucking uh, a townhouse. I gave that motherfucker to my brother and ducked off of her shit on my life. Right. Mm -hmm. So, but see, sometimes I be thinking like, when, so when you was in there, she bought the jewelry. What you, what, what she gave it to you? All yeah, she like, what? she like, yep, she like, what was in that bit? <laughs> shit, uh, uh, hell of shit, hell of shit. Boom. So goddamn, she come out there, motherfucker. She like, 
My last nigga, I gave my last nigga a hundred thousand. He still owe it to me, but I got all that jewelry. I'm like, shit, try to sell that motherfucker, get, try to sell him, get your money back. You feel me? I'm pushing that issue. Right. Text message and everything. I'm like, man, sell that motherfucker. I'm like, you ain't find nobody. No, she like, she texts me like, uh, I'm still looking for somebody to buy it, but if they don't want to buy it, buy it. Woo -woo -woo. Shit, I just want you to have it. Woo -woo -woo. So I'm like, shit, all right. I ain't never say, give me the jewelry. Right. You know I, mean? I ain't never say, but I need that. I need that. Right. You know what I'm saying? Boom, because I'm already knowing they the play type the of game. person the motherfucker is. You feel me? I already peeped. You feel me? You, you did some internet shit before. You feel me? But I'm, I find this out after, goddamn, I'm over this bitch and all this shit going on. Now my people don't tell me, like, well, you know she, but hold on, boy, watch yourself now. You know she be playing them internet game. So now I'm like, yeah, I mean, ah, shit, I'm gonna rob between the hard players. Either go to jail over this motherfucker. Or goddamn, all right, go to hell over here. <laughs> Fuck it, I'm in hell over this bitch. Right. Goddamn, vibe change, I start peeping shit out. Oh, yeah, they right. She trying to set up the, she like, eh. Man, I ain't gonna lie, fuck it. Boy, I'm in the house, bro. The nigga come. The ex nigga come. For the jury. Bro, <laughs> let me show you some shit, bro. Stop. Hey, boy, he come. Stop. This, this, this a little, this a little bit after my nigga Trouble died. You know Trouble? Yeah. How he died and shit at the girl house. Yeah. Oh, man, bro, boy, Trouble, yeah. Boy, that's deep, boy. So boom, I'm, I'm, I'm blow on some. Yeah. This nigga had to throw out here, thunk, 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 thunk. She come running up the stairs and shit. I wake up, I'm like, boy, who the fuck that is? She like, nobody got it. Somebody at the door, you feel me? She like, ain't nobody, ain't nobody, ain't nobody. She nervous, like, boom, I have to grab my gun and shit. I'm like, mm -hmm. I'm like, who that is at the door? Cause she like. Like, a, like somebody got some of mine in there. Oh, mama, bro. Yeah. She like, it's the nigga. <laughs> Dog. Get, get what I do. Get it's what the I do. Nigga huh? jury I got in here. Dog. Damn. Bro, she called the police on that man. Right then. And they told her I need to leave. And I'm looking out the window. He at that motherfucker yelling, this bitch got my jury in there. I'm my baby, fool. <laughs> Damn. Oh Lord, oh Lord. I gotta show you something. Cause I'm, I ain't gonna lie, I was spooked, fool. I was That's spooked. deep, but you be next though. That's the thing, when a girl treating a nigga. You be next. You, that's gonna be your jury a lot of times in that next now. Exactly, fool. And I ain't gonna lie, I ain't, I ain't, the, I ain't the sharpest motherfucking pencil in the, uh, in the, in the, in the thing thing. But I'm a very intellectual and smart young man. Like I peep shit, the motherfuckers be thinking, Wait a minute. Boy. Nigga knocking at the door, I creep out the back door. My shit. Yeah. Rap, I wrap up. Oh, hell, I ain't going. I'm not yeah. going. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. Nigga ready to go them. handle that. What you doing, nigga? Come Boom. from right so here. She see a nigga creep. You know what I'm saying? She instantly get on up. Ah, uh, 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 Mr. Guy at my door. I, I hear her screaming in the house and shit. I hear the police and shit coming out. Oh, hell, nah. I'll go back in that motherfucker. Take, I get back, yeah. nigga. Get the peeking out the window like this. He out there. Oh, this bitch got my jewelry. Man, that's a bad situation, bro. I'm mad as fuck. I put myself in that situation for real, but I ain't no way I could have stopped that shit. Yeah, but I'm saying, like, she must not been done with the nigga or something. She wasn't. Why she let a nigga come? As soon as I left that bitch alone, get what she said. Oh, yeah. I know where, I know where you be at. I'm, finna, I'm back fucking with, um, with Woo Doo Whoop. I'm finna send him over there to get his shit. Woo Doo Whoop. For real? I said send him. Did he show up? Nope. Yeah, what? Fuck me up though, I ain't gonna lie. I'm like, boy, this shit, this is dirty world we live in. Yo, bro, that's, <laughs> hey, you gotta be careful. Man. I'm already focused, bro. God damn. How long y'all fucking around? Some had you hooked though. Some had you hooked though. Because I remember being at a gas house one time, a nigga hit the door. I know she gonna be watching this. Yeah. Nigga hit the door. I said, what going on? Then why I don't go to girls' yeah, house? I don't, fuck with I don't even do that no more. Yeah, that time right shit. there made me say, cause I already went against my rule. That's how I raise a rule for me. Don't mm -hmm. go to women's house. It ain't never really just they house because men have an unrealistic expectation next to wherever they come and fuck you oh, at. My mama. So a nigga, even if you pay all the bills, it's your shit. A lot of times a nigga still gonna think, 
And I could pull up to my bitch house whenever time I That's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. You got this nigga in my house. Nah, this ain't really your. This ain't in your house. But whatever. Nigga kill about that. Oh, good. Though. But I don't do it, so nigga knock on the door. She slip out. You know, I'm just saying, because I don't, you know, we ain't boyfriend, girlfriend, no way, but we got about 10 seconds. He got to be gone. He got to go, though. We can't have this two men with you the interest, and it's two men right here. This gets real slippery. She gets spicy, man, she slipped out there and told him, I heard her telling him, man, you don't know why you should, you know, trying to show out. He left. I left. I never, I said, I'm, me and her you can't fuck around no more. What would make you stay with her after shit like that? Boom, see. All right. You can't be spitting nigga spooked. <laughs> you can't be what you see, what you what he doing. Mm-hmm. You gotta put that shit out, man. Let me, let me, uh, what you say? Let me, uh, uh, let me process this. Yeah, let keep it real. Thing, the, you ain't talking out your feelings. You over her now. Process it. Or is you not over her? Man, <laughs> fuck out of here. Soon as motherfucker goes to the internet and try to like make me seem like I'm a like yeah, I'm but so niggas hungry. going back to that though. I can't do that, bro. Yeah. I, can't, I can't beat myself up like that. That's fucked up. I liked it though, though. I did. I think it was a lot of like I feel like I owe her. That's really what I think it is. You feel me? Like, I feel like she did this for me type shit. So yeah. when I was ready to dip, it's like. That's why I left most of that shit, you feel me? Like, mm-hmm. I ain't even gonna do it like that. But when we when I dip, I got this chain on, right? When I dip, I, man, I'm finna, I'm finna dip, bro. You feel me? Ooh, ooh, ooh. I ain't even think about that shit. I'm gonna leave all that shit. I love it. 15, 25, not worth of clothes over that bitch, all type of shit. Man, fuck all that shit, bitch, I'm gone. Boom, I get to the studio, I'm gonna get the car and shit. Wait. Hey. Um, can you? Uh, Fuck out my phone. Yeah, I mean, yeah. That type of shit. But I feel like it was that. It was like, oh, she she did it for her niggas. So I can't just. Yeah, like, you were feeling like that. What was she, what was she just keeping it real? That's the thing though. Them girl, girls is solid though. Everybody even if they ain't, even if they ain't, even it ain't sustainable. Even if it ain't sustainable. You can't, if you can't hear, if you can't hold that shit up, that yeah. shit ain't solid. It ain't, it ain't solid, but it's cause I'm gonna be the same nigga every day. Yeah, but they they be they give a nigga they all and then regret it, right? So like I've even saw women help niggas, and then regret that they helped the nigga because he's mm-hmm. shining. You put mm-hmm. him in position to shine. Mm-hmm. You helped him shine, mm-hmm. and then you mad at yourself. You see what I'm saying? I'm L- like I've seen this happen before, like just with people that I know personally. You know what I'm saying? Where it's mm-hmm. like they'll get in the, you, she'll go clean his credit up. Mm-hmm. She'll teach him how to get a house. She'll put yeah. him in a new and dip. Get the, and get the hating on him. And, and then get the hating on, on him. It be, that shit work bro, both ways. Too. And then nigga go to hating on his girl. Yeah, I've up. seen that, but yeah, too, I like nigga be bad. hating on that. So it's like, damn bro, like that's, that's weird, man. That's some weird shit. I feel like on some real shit though, I just feel like she thought she had like a son or something. Cause you know, she about 37, 36. I don't want to put no extra age on you. Oh, man. I don't want to do that to you. Yeah. I'm 26. Man, yeah. So it was certain shit like I wasn't going for it. Like, you ain't even be talking to me like you're my right. mom in this bitch. Yeah. Yeah, she man. would. Yeah, Just because yeah, yeah. you think you think get some jury, a nigga finna. Man. Ah, uh, yeah. They, uh, she, uh, yeah. She, y'all, yeah. I mean? They be reversing the. <laughs> uh, crazy as fuck, man. I don't give a fuck about none of this shit like that. <laughs> you tripping. <laughs> <laughs> they, hey, that's funny though. It's mind games being played out here, though. Real chess, bro. Yeah, I'm talking about it. it's chess games being played, man. That's why I feel like as a rapper, bro, I don't think I'm ever find love. That shit over with. I don't, I don't even expect that for my life no more. For real, yeah. at all. And no relationship. You done gave up on love. And no relationship. Why? Hmm? Why? That shit ain't just. All right, everybody here to be used as humans. Okay, even if you with somebody like this. Is you in the fucking companionship or whatever fuck. Everybody here to be you, but I feel like as in the in the line of the, the career that I chose, I be used for all the wrong reasons. Like you ain't using me because you just you, you need to be around me. Like you it's something you wanna be a singer, rapper or something. Like even homeboys, you wanna be a rapper or opportunity. something. Like you feel me? It's an opportunity. Like so I just gotta be a realist and just swallow that shit down like this was going on. You feel me? Nigga ain't finna or is you plucking your friends and shit out of one pond? Do you gotta go in the, 
are you compatible with people? Because that's my problem. Sometimes I might not be. They telling me, yo, go get you some friends over there. Well, when I go over there, I ain't really compatible with them folks. Mm -hmm. But maybe you could get friends outside of, like, what's making it that, though? Because I feel like that. And mm -hmm. I'm just trying to work through it because yeah, I'm with you yeah, on that. Yeah, I think it. nobody genuine no more. Everybody over. got an agenda. That shit over. Yeah, so it's like I feel that, but I'm I'm trying to get us to work. Like, how do we get around this shit? I ain't going to. When you find a way, bro, let me know, bro. Yeah, I, bro. I, I, I gave up on that shit. I don't really. You done had your heart broke then before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I probably got abandonment issues or some shit, probably. You know? From who? My mom and my pops and them, probably. Yeah. Dropping a nigga out at my grandma's house and shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. And then I don't be liking. Then what I don't be liking, right? I'm going to break it down like this. This is why I feel like this is why I feel like even can't be nobody. Can't be no fucking love around here. Cause people who you know, watch me and my brother, my blood brother, Iceberg, grow up together, like treated us the same all our life. You feel me? Aunties, uncles, daddy, everybody, feel me? Now when my brother come around, boom, my brother walk in, hey. Then I walk in and say, hey. I don't like that shit. This is my fucking brother. You right, feel me? Right. But it's like, why the fuck is everything different now? Like, right. why y'all so happy to see me and not that happy to see my brother now when it used to be the same? So I just feel like if motherfuckers that watched you and loved you your whole life can that shit uh, change them, the fuck I'm supposed to feel about a stranger, bro. But that, that this perspective, because for them, I can't really speak to, but in the real in the outside of that, to some people you get the hey, and the others you get the uh. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because there's people bigger than us, mm -hmm. right? So in some places we get the the praise, and in others we were just talking mm -hmm. about how, like, damn, the machine can't push me, or they ain't helping me, or they ain't getting me in position. Like, they be, yeah. yeah, they be kind of shunning mm -hmm. a nigga. So it's like everything ain't peaches and cream with this shit. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? But with the love side of it, it's just gonna be rough on you, bro. It's rough on it's rough on all of y'all. It's rough on me too. Have you, I'm saying, how many times have you think you've been in real love? Well, I felt it. Press the button, bro, on the, on the thing right there. Yeah. Shit. Hey, get some over the shoulder. You can sit over there or sit over here too. Probably like, I'd say I've probably been in real love. Probably like twice. Probably like twice. One of the bitches I was, one of the bitches I was in love with, nigga kicked her dough. While I'm in that bitch, my jewelry in the room. My mom drunk, left my gun in the car. They kicked her door. Her sister set a nigga up. Oh, mom. Then, when you was in there? Like, I got, oh, mom, this got a, like, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I'd be, I done been betrayed a lot, bro. I done been betrayed, bro, a lot, bro. That's For what's real. fucking a nigga up. That's why a nigga feel oh, like yeah, it. Yeah, so, what me. happened with that? They kicked the door. They kicked the door. Is they looking for you? Yeah, fam. The sister set a nigga up, right? But D whole grammar though. Y'all D whole grammar. But it took me some it took me some time to like peep that. Fam. But mind you, after I get raw, this bitch taking me to fam. Then I leave this bitch. Well, she fucking nigga, I leave this bitch, right? She get with one of the niggas who she get with her sister boyfriend who set the shit up, fam. I'm like, what the fuck type of weird shit y'all right. got going on over there, yeah. motherfucker? You feel me? Yeah. No, no, I just been betrayed. But that shit lead to like, I'm saying, who was the bitch to you? How long was you fucking with her? Fucking with that bitch probably like an hour, probably like three years. How quick do you get to a place where you feel comfortable around a girl though? Shit, not quick no more. It used to be quick. Used to though. be quick, but you young. Cause I'm a lover boy, bro. And Ain't you young, I love though. women, fool. You young too, though. Love women, bro. That'd be my fucking problem. Yeah. yeah. I'm a real lover boy. I be tripping. What's the difference between a sucker and a lover boy? A sucker is goddamn when they gonna let a motherfucker run over. I ain't let nobody walk over me. As soon as the bitch start trying to think about she's gonna walk over me, cause she, a lover boy is a nigga who just love women. And like, okay, all right. Okay, I think everybody, this this my definition of love boy. I think everybody beautiful to somebody. So I ain't just gonna be like, oh, that bitch weak as fuck and just dog out, you feel me? She might, she might, she might be weak to me, but she might look good to him. So I ain't for never make no woman feel bad. That's a love boy to me. You feel okay, me? cool. Okay. But like a sucker is a nigga who just getting walked up. I know I done been in the car with bitches and they <laughs> What if where is it? You ain't seen it. 
Oh, mama's yeah. a nigga. That's a sucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bitch, no, she can't do, even you, talk you to me. You don't do like no that. tricking. You don't Man. get no money or nothing. Bitch, no, she can't even talk to me like that. So how you deal with that? You a rap nigga. You got the you. It's rough on y'all rap it's, nigga. It's rough as a motherfucker. Fuck you. Tell me you don't get no money now. Man, look, I don't get no cheese. Bro. I ain't gonna lie. It, uh, bro, I swear to God, motherfuckers don't even be coming at me like that, fool. I don't know what it is. I think niggas just be coming in the door like just what you want for it. Cause right. bitches don't, and then they, they play it how, they play it by ill. Okay, shit, he coming in like this, so shit, every time I talk to him, I'm asking for something. Yeah, mm-hmm. me, I don't, I got is you career. fucking them type, is you fucking them Instagram type bitches though that, that, that portray that lifestyle? He trying to give me that. I'm saying, no, I'm saying like, right, man, the I, ones I, that pop that kind of. I'm gonna say it like this, right? A lot of these hoes that you niggas paying is eating dick for free. For sh- on my baby, <laughs> eating dick for free. <laughs> oh mama. I believe that. I swear to God. Yeah, bro. I yeah. Swear to God. But I'm saying, as a rap, as a rapper, that should be a breath of fresh air for them bitches to run into a nigga like me. Like, oh shit. Cause I, right. <laughs> I, right, I'm gonna give you niggas, some, I'm gonna give you niggas some knowledge. Yeah, man. boom. Niggas who who be paying for that shit, the bitches looking at niggas like, you ain't lawyer. You feel me? It's like, okay. If bitch come eat dick for free over here, this nigga ain't, he ain't just passing that shit out. He ain't going around paying motherfuckers. He ain't fucking, and all these bitches who selling pussy down, they got herpes, all type of shit, you feel right. me? Right. So it's less of a risk fucking with a nigga like me, you hear me? <laughs> so, they, so you saying that they knowing that if you paying, this your lifestyle. It's your lifestyle, Like you yeah. fucking and paying all the time, every turn. In the back of strip clubs. Yeah. All type of shit, man. Wow, yeah, yeah, yeah. You ain't never did no OnlyFans. See, they be trying to get rap niggas to do OnlyFans. I had a video on my, uh, uh, uh let me get my dick so leak. Bro, I, I tripped that, bro. How off them balls, bro? How off them balls, dog? <laughs> I pocket posted that bitch on Facebook. For real? Man, hell yeah. See, dog, uh, damn. You got niggas like Sauce Walker. That boy got real on the thing. what I'm telling you, making me. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Niggas is, I done had girls come in me talking about OnlyFans. Oh, man, I'm saying, man, I ain't doing no fucking OnlyFans. They, they want you stunt dick, huh? Yeah, they <laughs> want me, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying, please. But, but I'm saying, um, but yeah, for y'all rap niggas, even like now around Christmas and shit, they expect rap niggas to come through now. Yeah, yeah. So I'm saying, how you get around that? Cause this be the time of year where niggas like rappers, entertainers, ball players, it's rough on niggas around holidays. You gotta buy all these different women you been dealing with and the ones you been lying to, or not even lying to, but I ain't give her as much time, but she Christmas coming, everybody expecting something. Mm-hmm. How you deal with that? Well, I ain't got no feelings. Ain't nothing going on. You can't be a lover boy with no feelings. But don't nobody love me. I love women, but I don't feel like nobody love me. So I'm not finna give you my, I I disappear. Like, I ain't gonna lie, I got a song called Hard On Me, right? I think I got that shit from my dad. I said, I disappear and come back like nothing happened, just like my father. (laughs) I come back in February and be like, what you been doing? Right. Christmas, this shit old with. What you, how you feeling? Don't so you act like ain't nothing going on. You ain't doing no Christmas gift buy. It depends on who it is. Now, if it's a girl that I'm really dealing with, bro, and I really like this girl and I feel like she really like me, bro. If I feel like that, then I I, I go all out. For so real, for you real, fucking bro. like a motherfucker, but you don't feel like none of them girls like you. Man, go get one of them trick ass niggas about that shit. You don't like me like that, bitch. You just wanna, you just wanna post and send a pic to everybody. <laughs> That's all the bitch wanna do, man. That's all the bitch wanna do. So so um. Hey, that's, that's crazy, because I'm telling you, man, you competing with, see, that's the thing, if you fucking out of the same group of the rapper girls, and you ain't spending nothing, then it mm-hmm. gets rough, like, or, I'm just thinking that stigma to your, it's stigma to your profession, it's like, he's a rapper, I'm his, I'm fucking on him, Christmas coming up, he gotta be finna give me some. he gotta be coming through, what's the budget on somebody you think like you? What's the budget? Yeah. Oh, if I feel like you like me, bro, ain't no budget for real, for real. Yeah. It just gotta be. I like me. I pay attention, so I, I already know what what you like and shit like that. So. Yeah. So you a real lover, boy? You paying attention and shit? Yeah, I'm paying. What's your that. What's the sign? What's your sign? I'm Aquarius. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What's the What's the easiest way to get a bitch nowadays in the industry or with easiest these bitches you be fucking with? Uh, like how you be? What's your? I don't like DM that DM and shit. I don't know, man. I, I it's, it, that should be hitting and missing. Me, I'm an in person type of nigga. Let him in. 
I'm an in-person type of nigga, right? Oh, it be who like, is that? Is that is that your boy? Nah, they they ain't his boy. Don't let him in. But watch for his guy. Go from his shoulder now. This side, if you don't mind. Boom. Appreciate it. That damn. Go ahead, bro. You know what I was saying? That nigga had throw me up. Yeah, me too. <laughs> uh, but we were talking about uh, just you said you don't like the DM. You don't like. DM. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm an in-person type of nigga, bro. I feel like I. Was, I feel like I should have been this age in the 90s for real. For yeah. That's really how I feel inside. I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm older than what I'm supposed to be. Yeah. Boom. So I feel like in person and just walking up or like a motherfucker, you on a bitch see each other and both of y'all like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I like that type yeah, of yeah, shit. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You ain't had none of them celebrity, like you don't got no celebrity girls you be trying. I'm saying you, you try. Think, yeah. Oh yeah, here, yeah, I got a you know, bitch I like. Um, who I like? Um, I like a lot of these bitches. I like, uh, I like like Lil she cool, she cool. Uh, I like uh, I like uh, um, Coco Jones. <laughs> I like motherfucking um. It's a few of them. I ain't gonna be right here all day, bro. Yeah, it's a few of them. I be thinking like, cause sometimes I be liking people off their gram. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But in person, I be walking past them like, damn, I ain't even, she don't even look the same. They done tricked me with that gram a few I ain't gonna times. Lie, it's, it's, yeah. I done got tricked a couple times with that gram, bro. That shit ain't, I ain't gonna lie, I look the people on them. And not even, ain't nothing, ain't even coming to the door. What crazy for them. You done looked through the people and not came to the yeah, door? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. I just sent my homeboy downstairs to get a busy <laughs> <laughs> he like, boy, hell nah. He like, fuck no, you can't hear. <laughs> how you be getting the bitches though? Like I'm saying, do you? How you get the bitch to you? What you mean? Like I'm saying, y'all niggas don't be spooked to that shit. Yeah, I'm not. This bitch pull up. Pull up. Yeah. And I don't be at no like, no hotels where like uh. Yeah, you gotta get, get to get the to get door. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? yeah. And then like the my spot. It's like you gotta stop at the concierge and shit. They gotta call me. You feel me? I gotta. Uh, right. Yeah. How she look. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, no, no. You ain't never been because what well, you just said, yeah. Because you better be paying attention. You done had niggas kicking houses yeah, and shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you gotta be paying I'm attention. On it, bro. I done been rolled one time. Shot one and a half time. A half. I got grades in my hand, oh, man. Okay. <laughs> I don't count that one. I don't want to be. I don't be want to say twice. Right? Nah. Yeah. Nah. You don't count that. That's yeah. that's right. You did right by that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Nigga don't got no business counting that. Exactly. But you did? Did you get in the game before streaming or after streaming? Uh, what you mean? Like Spotify and all that. Since you dropped your first song, was it uploaded to like Spotify, Apple Music? Uh, no, I started on YouTube. I was YouTube. YouTube type of nigga. Okay. Yeah. I, I would just drop. I, it took me three videos. What year was what year? Like the end of twenty sixteen. I'm trying to think was was because I think that's when Drake was doing those Apple Music exclusive deal. They had just built Apple Music out. I think Tyler Craig was that twenty sixteen. Do you remember that? Yeah, because Drake had got an exclusive deal. Um, I think Tyler, Frank Ocean, Beyonce, people would put it on Apple Music for one day, and then the next day it'll be everywhere. But okay. that was their way of building that platform. So I, I, what, I'm, what I want to know is, is that, you know, do, do you think you're fairly paid for streams? You know what I'm saying? Like, do you think, is that a good hustle for you? Do you uh, think like, this is a cool little hustle, like, or do you think it's worth more? I think it's worth, I think it's worth more. I think it's worth more. I don't feel like, I don't feel like, as artists, I don't feel like we get the right percentage of screen. I think we get like, I think one screen is like point some cent or yeah, something. Yeah, it ain't like even that. a penny. Yeah, it yeah. ain't even a fucking penny. So I don't think we get as much as we supposed to get out of the stream and shit. Like rappers, bro, we get all shit out brand, brand and like merch, tours, shows, shit like that. Right. Mm -hmm. Unless you, unless you are completely like independent artist, but who wanna own 100% of zero dollars? Right. Yeah. I mean, in your contracts, like, cause I know you. Okay, how many contracts have you signed so far? Shit, yeah, on the um, on the two, on the two, the one with forty and the one with three hundred. You yeah. with three hundred now? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I was I was signing three hundred. I was signing through three hundred through Sigwood, and now I'm signing three hundred through Overkill. My shit. Yeah.
So 300 was the parent company. Mm -hmm. They've always showed interest. Yeah. yeah. Is that Leo and who yeah, is that? Yeah, Leo and Kevin Lyle. Kevin Lyle. Shout mm -hmm. out Kevin Lyle. Yeah. Um, so with the with the deal, the first deal you had, what did you what was something in a contract from that deal mm -hmm. that you learned from? That's like uh, when when I had peep, I'm like, it was like um without getting too deep into it, it was like uh okay, so I signed for twenty thousand dollars and it was supposed to be like ten thousand in marketing or some shit like that with sick with it. But I ain't know. Feel me? So once I peeped, like, I ain't never get no marketing and shit. I'm like, damn, they lied to me. Feel me? Then it was uh, it was another key point once I once I had looked over that shit. Oh, uh, uh, Forty had like options. You, you familiar with options? Yes. Yeah, like, and I ain't, I ain't really like that either. Like, yeah. So that's, explain that's, that that's to that's the real people. Role me. Yeah. Okay, it's like after I turned in two projects, he got the option to to like basically stand. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like on some. Nah, you ain't going nowhere type shit. Right. And I ain't get that, like, what the fuck? Well, yeah. I ain't got the option, like, you know what I'm saying? So once I peeped down, like, what the fuck? So them was really, like, the main two things. Like, I ain't getting no marketing in. Like, the, the option shit was just throwing me through a loop. Like, what about the, um, the, the the splits? Is the splits, like, the- The splits and shit. On each dollar. Like, say, dollar come in, you get- I get- the business get this much, y'all get, we break down that much. Like, all right, mm -hmm. the, business, the business get, like, I say by I'm get I'm walking away with probably like twenty five percent at the end of the day. And, and damn the Lord. It's three hundred helping like with your marketing and, yeah, yeah. and all of that. Yeah, they they came with the whole like marketing team and shit and they got the marketing budget and shit like that. You feel me? Now. But like before when it was going through sick with it, like I ain't really I ain't really uh it was a lot of shit that sick with it as a label was supposed to be doing. Like not that now that like um now that I'm signed through my shit, it's like I peep like oh shit, it's certain shit that bro was supposed to be doing that they weren't doing, you feel me? Right. Like they just sitting back playing the cut, like hoping something blow, you feel me? Right. It was like that type of shit. That's really what the main thing. Like, y'all really just playing the cut and then if I blow, you gonna hit them options on me. You feel yeah, me? And that's what a lot of the business is. That's, that's what's crazy. fucked up. That's it's like weak, they won't even push for it to blow. But if it blow, you can't go nowhere. That's literally how they rock, bro, and that's, that's what I don't like, like. I don't get that. That shit was just throwing me through a loop, bro. Yeah, like, I don't like, like that shit. That shit crazy. It's like, okay, I get it. I get it. It's like playing. I look at it like playing football all your life and not want to go to the NFL. You feel me? You don't want to. You don't want to. You don't want to fuck with a major at least once. You feel right. me? So it's like it's like that, but at the same time, it's like. You gonna bump your head a couple times, but you don't gotta fuck with a major nowadays. You really don't, not not they. The, but they, this is where they getting y'all at because they they're restructuring the landscape. Mm. They you they lost a grip on it for a second, but now they've now changed the uh, Apple landing page and all of that. All of that is digital real estate. The mm -hmm. labels are buying that shit up, mm -hmm. meaning um, it affects the algorithm, like your playlisting, your. Um, up next or the picture on the hip hop shit or the all of that shit is for sale now. And before it was algorithm based. Like if twenty thousand people clicked on well, it, it'll be showed up. Yeah. It's no longer like that. A lot of it is is digital real estate because that's really, that's really what I was getting at when I was like, um it's a lot of tricks and shit they doing for them motherfuckers and I ain't getting them tricks done. For right. Them shit. That's what I was getting that type of shit. Right. Yeah, but I ain't really yeah. know how to explain it, put in the words. Like right, that. right. Yeah, but see, that's, yeah, that's what you mean, the playlisting and shit. Cause, but there's something to be said about those hard numbers though. Like, I think that a lot of these brands, they incorporate inflation. They understand that. Let bro in. Bruh. Oh, he got the code. Oh. Who was that? Oh. But a lot of these, um, oh, she's for the kids. A lot of these companies, they understand inflation. So I think what happens is, um, say you go to a brand, have you ever did any brand deals and shit? Like um, ethical. Ethical. Yeah, yeah, I did. So yeah, if yeah. they come to you, say Fashion Nova comes to you or somebody. Oh yeah, I did Fashion Nova shit. Too. Yeah, so you can literally go to them with like hard numbers and, and really show them, hey, there's a difference between 
I mean, because the inflation, like we're talking about with streamers, 100,000 people there, but there's not moving the numbers. Mm -hmm. My people can actually move the numbers if y'all activate my people. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Sometimes you got to explain to the label, but I don't know, man. Seem like, it seems like you've been burnt by labels a lot. So I don't know why you want to fuck with them no more. Boom, it's on some shit like, cause me, 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 me going through what I what I went through. I, Cause I, I want to be like Jay Z at the end of the day. I want to be like on some mogul shit. You feel me? I want to be able to sign young niggas and put them in the right position. I want to be able to. I'm I'm starting now. You feel me? Nigga got little FBA man, a little jock and shit. Couple uh Atlanta artists and shit. But like I'm trying to be on some global shit. And I feel like me. Going through it, it's like I'm sacrificing myself to learn the shit that I need to know to teach these niggas, you feel me? Right. Or, or so I can do the shit right. Cause I don't wanna play with nobody life, you feel me? Right. I don't wanna play with nobody life at all. But it's like, I done I gotta go through that shit, bro. Thanks, yeah, so. I done I got to. Yeah. Cause I ain't never gonna learn. I learned by trial and error, you feel yeah. me? Like, but you gonna burn yourself out. Thanks, so. You, yeah, you can't, you need something. You waiting, I'm at, do I need to get you something? Take over what? They think they next door. Hey, Everybody next door. Sure I smoke these on? Yeah, that's why they put that sign over there. Sure I smoke the vape on here? Nah, you good. Uh huh. Yeah, um, but but you can burn yourself out. Like I can tell now that you you already becoming creatively exhausted. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then motherfuckers will come come to you with that. Uh, like you already like I already be feeling down. Like damn, bro, I ain't got the I ain't got the I ain't talking about my team, but I ain't got the team that I you know what I'm saying, that I need. Right. You feel me? Yeah. But I have like the machine, and then a motherfucker come and tell you some shit like, hey, uh, y'all bring y'all bring the only thing, bro. You feel me? Like you know, yeah. Start moving on to other shit. Like hold on, bro. What y'all losing? Hoping nigga like right. you know what I'm saying? Like. Right. What y'all thinking nigga ain't gonna do it? Right. So it's like all that shit be together and one if you like, man. Yeah. Shit, How you deal with that? Man, read a lot of self-healing shit. Like, um, Cause that's a battle, bro. It's, man, that's a real battle. Especially where when like, you love what you're doing. And you ain't got the money you need to quit. Like it's like I ain't you able to say I'm I done. I can't, I can't put rap up. I yeah. ain't one of them niggas with an egg like that. That's can't what put I'm saying. Up, like I'm hustling this shit. Take care of everybody. Oh, mama. And then trying to keep myself goddamn, you know. Competing competition. Yeah, you can't look fucked up. I ain't, I ain't like Kendrick Lamar. I can't come out with nah, no Nah, you got to, because, because, you, because they done trapped y'all in that trap music shit to where you got to look a certain you way and do it. You got to look a certain way, bro. Oh, mama. Oh, mama. But that's where the but brand I'm a, deals come in. I'm a soul in. artist, you feel me? Yeah. I'm a soul for nigga, like. Know what I'm saying? So I don't even really be giving a fuck about this shit for real, for real. But bro. a nigga, a nigga come from it though. Yeah, that's yeah, the yeah. thing. So it's like, it's like, okay, I ain't never had shit, so I always want it. Don't get me wrong, I always wanted it, but it's like, I don't want. I'm a diamond. You feel me? I don't want that. I don't want motherfuckers to only see me with jewelry and be like, oh, they go pee. Right. When I pull up with no jewelry, like, damn, he look regular. Yeah, right. nah, I got to shine whenever you see me. You feel me? So it's like, I don't like that we in that era right now, bro. Well, nigga. Well, rap I always been like that. You got, you always had to change. To change. See, the you niggas that, grow man? older. So what happens is you going to grow older and then start being like, I, I like being low. Mm -hmm. I don't care if they look at me like, he regular. You right. I want to be regular. I done I spent the last 20 years taking pictures and shit. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? People stopping me and my family at Target and Walmart. I just want to be regular. Mm -hmm. I just want to be a regular nigga to show up to the movies like everybody yeah, else. Get yeah. some popcorn. You know, that's going to start to be appealing for a nigga to where nobody don't see you as peas at all. Oh, yeah, that shit out the door. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Right now, nigga, hey, recognize I'm in this bitch. No Big is. feet, <laughs> nigga, I'm here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But that's how it go. But at some point, a nigga will shake that, but that come, I think it gonna come with age. I don't think it come with nothing but age. You know what I'm saying? Because right, right. rap niggas, I be wondering, like, I ask you, when do you not wear jewelry? Shit, I don't wear jewelry when I'm at home. Oh, it might just be one of them days where I'm just, I know I ain't got shit to do. I'm just riding around with my people and shit. I ain't gonna put on no jewelry. Because I be looking at that shit like, it really like a liability too. Yeah. Like, cause you never know. Like, you never know 
when a nigga might, you know. Yeah, I, I still be in a lot of places I ain't supposed to be in shit. Yeah. So I be like, well, I ain't finna go over that motherfucker. Shining like a motherfucker then. Hell yeah, nah. Even though I know, well, I don't know shit. I'm only one man in the, in the, in the world, bro. Mm. I don't, you, you don't know what's going right. on in a nigga mind. Right. Your homeboy be ready to slime me as that, man. See him? So me, I just be on some. I just be going with that gut, man. My gut, my gut be telling my shit was like my second brain for real, bro. That's what it is. Might be your first brain. No, mama said might be the first one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What about um when you um damn, I forgot what I was just finna ask you about that jury shit. I forgot what the fuck I was just finna ask you. Like them white boys. I forgot what the fuck I was just gonna ask you, man. Hold on, let me see if I got hold on. Man. Um speaking of like the streaming and shit, I think there's money in this shit for y'all, right? But when I look at somebody like Keefe D, you know who that is, right? That and I know you by you growing that, up yeah, half your life. That nigga just tripped. Yeah, you seen that shit? That nigga tripped the fuck out, bro. I think, I think, I think, what I really think, bro, I think he was going flat or flat. Cause that's why he was on some like, man, bro, just, man, yeah. hey, talk, talking about one Big. fool, man, just, just, man, get He went me. full blown, uh, uh, what's them niggas be on there, uh, the, what's them niggas be big, hobo? Hell, guy, okay, I man, man, yeah. bro, throw a nigga a bone or yeah, something, man. I'm like, damn. He went full blown. I'm like, damn, then I think he was just doing them interview for a little 2,500 here just to tell the story and not knowing like, yo ass ain't got immunity no more. Right. Do you think he would cap or you think that's how it went down? I think that's how that shit went. I think he put a little extra on that If shit. a nigga running around telling how that shit went down, nigga dumb and stupid, man. Yeah, he's stupid. I don't he, give that, a fuck if you give me to yeah, That nigga, yeah. he ain't know, he ain't know. Yeah. He you ain't think know. old nigga dumb. That nigga dumb. <laughs> I swear that old nigga dumb, bro. I ain't gonna lie, I don't care where that nigga had retarded. Cause ain't no way you at this tender age, my nigga, and you going on interviews saying what the fuck you saying. Like proudly, talking about the man was break dancing in the car. You talking about who passed off the gun, who ain't wanna shoot. You bro, you you like 50 something. Come on now. I think he went broke though. That's what it was. Yeah, he when you broke, go broke, nigga gonna be, yeah. He like, man, fuck it. That's why he was like, man, if they come give me, I seen one interview, <laughs> he like, cause I love the Tupac. Yeah. I seen one interview, he like, man, if they come give me shit, they just come give me. I think he was just on some, bro, I'ma do what I gotta do to get that money. For real. Oh, that shit, I'm telling you, if a nigga go that broke, he need to figure something else. That's crazy broke, homie. <laughs> that's crazy. That's, 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 that's another psychotic. level of broke, my no, nigga. Mama, that's like, that's that's suicide. Man, that shit sickening. I don't know how that nigga, man, that nigga, hell nah. But I, I, I know the game produces that because, you know, he been gang banging all his yeah, life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't get nothing for gang banging. Yeah, you don't get no flowers or nothing. You don't get nothing for mm -hmm. it. You just get glory as you doing it as a youngster. Mm -hmm. But really, once you get older, it's but over with. Young don't give a fuck. Well. Man, these niggas don't give a damn about all that gang banging shit you done. You know, fuck. Nigga, hand you your motherfucking hat. You nigga. got to renew your idea out here, bro. Real talk, man. These little niggas doing this shit right now. <laughs> <laughs> they don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck about no 90s and 80s, nigga. Yeah. We in 2023. They, them young niggas are. What happened with the that shooting you was involved with? They threw that case out? Yeah, uh, the grand jury ain't want to pick it up. Did they? Yeah, did what they, what grounds they throw it on for? Hmm? To fail to prosecute or something? Yeah, nah, they. My lawyer just said like the grand jury refused to pick the case up. Like they was on some, we, don't, we ain't gonna take the grand jury basically. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause I was at the, um, I was just going to court and shit. I was on Angle Money for a year and a half, almost two years and shit. Barely went to court, you know what I'm They talking about they, they lost video footage and I feel like that video footage would have helped me a yeah, lot. You feel yeah. me? Oh, okay, okay, you know okay, I mean? okay. Probably, probably, yeah, like it would have helped me a lot. Yeah. Yeah, damn, and grand jury, like, yeah, I basically had no case type shit. You feel me? Did you get a uh, relationship with Young Boy off of that song, or was it just a song? It was just a song, for real, for real. We'll chop it up uh, briefly in the DMs and shit. And night, then you feel me? Who you thinking about now? That's like, do you think you a do you think you a young rapper now or a mid mid? I'm, I'm, I'm a mid rapper, yeah. So who's the youngsters now? The young niggas like, 
the young niggas who going up. You got the Rob 49. Yeah, Rob, I just talked to him. Definitely Matter of fact, I got to get him on. He, he been trying to get, I got to call him. I'm going to get you on, bro. We're going to do that right I now. Fuck, I fuck with Rob 49. Yeah, that's my yeah, nigga. That, bro. I, I fuck <laughs> with that little nigga. I've been, I been listening <laughs> like to his shit. Is. He wanted them men. Yeah, yeah, I like that. So dude. him and, and that's the that's the crop of young niggas. Him and who else? You him, um, I fuck with, I fuck with Skiller, baby. That's my nigga, too. I fuck with 42, bro. Like, bees. I, man, bees yeah, going he hard. Ooh. CBF.W on God. That nigga. That little nigga, they're going crazy. Gonna lie, he, could, he, 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 probably, he probably that shit on, on like a different way. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. He, he he playing with them words a different way, yeah. bro. Like, yeah. I ain't gonna lie, bro, know something. Yeah, that nigga know something. B know something. I just got put on, bro. Like, I was riding with a bitch. She got damn boom. She put on that uh damn wild love go. We feel like stupid yeah, sugar. Yeah, that nigga. Well, I'm like, what the fuck? I'm, yeah. She like, and you he know, kick it then. She's like, you don't know bees, or you know how them hoes hoe gonna make it in. What? Yeah. All right, I'm yeah. on that shit yeah. now. Yeah. yeah, nah, that little nigga, he kicking that shit. And he be with the home team. Shout out Sid. Shout out Hawk, the whole squad, man, yeah, that's over it, there, man. That nigga, he one of them men though. Nigga, fuck with him though. He mm -hmm. one of them guys. So who's in your class? In my class? Yeah, like you and. I feel like the people. All right, it, it, it time of like the people I came in. Right, with, like where the people who was in. You, you got the young age. You got the Jada damn, young. Damn, you might be the last. Okay, Jada young and damn, he yeah, did, he died. Yeah, yeah. He uh, mm, I say Rawway. I say Rawway. That nigga, that he smoking. He here <laughs> Thursday. That buff. Yeah, I love that nigga too. Though. Yeah. I fuck with that. Man. He here tomorrow. Uh, goddamn. It's a few. Uh, Cap, Cap Rallo. No, I think I came in like a little bit early. Cause I remember, I remember when Young and Asian them came in and shit, and JD Young and shit. Cause everybody was, everybody was comparing me and JD Young and shit. Our boys and shit. Yeah. Goddamn. Glock Nine. He in prison. Uh. It was a few niggas. I ain't gonna lie. It was a few niggas. So you like you like might be one of the more one of the more successful ones from that little crop, though. Yeah, I feel like yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That lasted, and do you think if you would have never left to California, you might would have got one of those situations like them niggas? Yeah, like maybe a young boy or a baby, you know, come get you, but you went and got with that forty, and it kind of yeah, it kind of it, it, it kind of like it, it makes sense to a lot of people, like. Fuck, he from he from uh Alabama. He's trying to afford it. So it was like I had to make people understand why and tell people my story and shit. So if you ain't got them, if you ain't listen to the story, you like shit. I don't want you know what I'm saying. Then they got you planted out there with the slang, southern slang mm -hmm. on the west coast with a record deal. Mm-hmm. 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 So it was like I can't say I can't just say uh uh that I would have just been bigger. I pre I really don't even because I, I feel like being in a different being in a different area really helped me like it helped draw attention to me They're like bro that nigga sound like boots and shit you know they love but if you was in Alabama at that time when the babies and the young boys and them niggas was down through there grabbing niggas and you was down there free yeah no yeah. deal you just been kind of grinding like Rollo and them yeah, it'd, be, it'd be different that's what I'm saying you might would have got a Gucci or. You see what I'm saying? It mm. might would who would you want to who who right now if you could choose somebody? Well, I'll you win three hundred, but you I'll know, I fuck with like Gatta. Got it. I fuck with Gatta because I feel like uh, he understand he understand how to how to market somebody from the urban community. I feel like it it take time and 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 a lot of work to like make a motherfucker who don't understand. Like they probably understood the the urban community in the nineties, but this shit different now. You feel me? So it's like a motherfucker got to make them understand instead of having a motherfucker who didn't understand. Like the young nigga popping shit, they were going on. Like you feel me? Like for the boom, I remember I was feeling some type of way about this shit back in the days, right? Uh, nigga signing, right? I think I had seen. It. I used to be in my head a lot, so I had seen goddamn. Black youngster signed Lil Migo, goddamn, bought him a lamb. I'm like, oh shit. I'm like, man, they gave me $20,000. So it's like that type of shit. You feel me? Like, like, damn, like, they know how to market that shit. Like, bro, for that, you would have got me a lamb. You would have did the, the marketing shit that 
I ain't saying like I want a nigga to hand me nothing. You feel me? But it's like if you would have did took the marketing steps, if you would have paid attention to what everybody else was doing, it would have been different, bro. You feel me? Because everybody really was doing the same thing. Get a young nigga, buy him a car. You feel me? Or or or, or throwing some cheese. You feel me? And like, you know what I'm saying? Turn and them that's up. what I'm saying. I'm wondering how you are fighting through that because, because it's that that hurts. It hurts. That hurts your creativity when it's time to lay down and write a rap. That shit is bought. It's in your brain. It's in the back of your head that like, damn, I'm competing with these niggas. I and think they, I'm better than these niggas, and I ain't got. I ain't got the. I ain't got the support or the belief behind it. It go from. It go from. Damn, I ain't got the support to. Damn, motherfucker don't believe in me. He just trying to get. Then why sign me? Damn, you playing me? Why you playing with me? Damn, you niggas hate us. Damn, you all this rolling. Right here, heavy as fuck on a nigga head. And, and you can make sense of everything, of each uh, each scenario. You see what I'm saying? But it's like, damn, that's why you got to take your time in business, y'all. You know what nigga. I'm saying? Ain't no rush to that. Because you going to hate yourself. Can't, and that's what I'm saying. Business. It's important for <laughs> you, bro, because you can bury yourself, my nigga. Like I'm saying, creatively, mm -hmm. in so much bullshit business in a way. I can't even fucking create all this. Mm -hmm. Like, damn, dog, I done sent this over to you. You think I don't even eat off my biggest song? The biggest record's not mine. This, that, that. You see what I'm saying? That shit weighs on a nigga, bro. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm asking you, how the fuck is you going through that? <laughs> I, just, I, I got a strong You mind can't like stop, it. though. Can't stop. That's, that's how you get through, knowing you but, can't stop. You got to start to pay attention to the business. Mm -hmm. If you went through what you went through, when I ask you them kind of questions, you supposed to be able to pop out with every stream. I make da -da 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 -da, here's the da -da -da, the mm -hmm. back end said that you ain't, you can't still now be saying, yeah, yeah, I, don't I don't really know, know bro. Yeah. Because you setting yourself up for another mm -hmm. tombstone power bomb. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, a nigga make another two million off you and you make 70,000. And then now you mad at yourself and you mm. mad and your mama, cause I know what it be. Mama and them and everybody thinking when you run off and run with them rap niggas, he rich. coming back with boy, the treasure. Boy, boy, yeah, rich, boy. He coming back with the treasure. Then it's hard to say no. Then you gotta learn to manage money. Do you know how to manage your money? Uh, I'm still learning how to manage money right now. I feel like that's a uh that's a uh a, a, a process, man. Nah, I mean, I still be acting off impulse a lot. So once I get that impulse, them impulsive thoughts and shit. What's something you be buying out like that? Yeah, just be, I'd be bored and be like, I'm gonna go out, go out. Then I feel like, then I, it, it be, what y'all wanna do, what y'all wanna do? Nobody pitching in though, you know what I'm saying? So shit, I'm spending money on the station borders. It's good to do that when you hustle good, you know, but it's like, you still gonna have to find a place to where say, if I don't move today, I'm straight. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I don't do mm -hmm. nothing. Residual. Yeah, and then and then 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 ignore them urges. Sometimes they gotta try to ignore them urges. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, them urges. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. That's all. Once I once I get to that's probably like the last thing. But also last. money money management from a standpoint of do you know? Can you tell me right now a dollar amount? I don't want you to tell me, it, but I'm saying in your brain, do you know a dollar amount of what I made last year? I know exactly the amount of money my company Overkill made last year. It made six million dollars, four hundred thousand, and oh, da, no, da da no, da no, da. No, I don't know exactly. No. See, these are things you, if you don't know, the nigga next to you got to know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, Niggas yeah, got to yeah. know what everything is making and what everything is costing. Because in between that is where, that's your money. You know, everything you get ain't yours. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. A million dollar check ain't your million to go spend. Yeah, hell no. We got to run a business with this. Mm -hmm. We need to hire some folks to make sure you're branding right. And, and I also want rappers to, or I want to ask y'all, like what you got on that? Did you pay for that? Oh uh, yeah, about there. So do see it also rappers also need to have somebody on their team that constantly are seeing what they're into and reaching to those companies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yo, load him up. Like he'll wear your shit every day for the next ninety days. Load mm -hmm. him up. We on tour right now. We mm -hmm. in front of ten thousand people a night with your shit. Like you, they gotta know how to pitch peas. Mm -hmm. That be half the thing. You just sitting over there, the people. That's why it's, the, you get with these companies. They don't know how to pitch a nigga. Like you was just saying, mm -hmm. they don't know how urban culture works, so they don't know how to. It take them clothes. It take the jewelry. It take the uh, how you put it out there. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, you said some shit then. Bro. So you say, so when God and them were doing that, I'm just sitting looking at this shit like, damn. And I ain't even had a heart to get down. Damn, big bro. But you because did you feel grateful? Is that why you just grateful felt, to be here? Oh, mama, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, like I'm gonna look at the glass half full type of nigga. But I peep when I'm not getting what I deserve though. You feel me? So I'm like, all right. He gave me his platform and shit. You feel me? Okay. He introduced me to a lot of people that that mean a lot. You feel me? So I'm looking at it like that, but I'm like, still though, bro. Like he dragging his feet on this side. You feel me? So it was like that type of shit. Like just sitting there watching that shit, and then it wasn't even just them. Everybody doing this shit, and I'm knowing you see this shit. You feel me? I'm out this bitch still robbing, bro. Yeah. Like for real though. You know what I'm saying? That's why karma came at me like that. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Quick. You talking about? You know what I'm saying? Quick. Damn, dog. Sign a record deal. Did they have you on any stages and shit while you were going through that? Hell no. Nah. That little show without getting booked for in the bay. So after the twenty, when the next time you saw some money <laughs> from uh, the industry, not when I had when I had signed to uh, I signed a, I signed a, a, a three hundred for two hundred. Mm-hmm. For how long the terms? Uh, uh, three album. Mm-hmm. So yeah. what do you give you twenty for one album or two album? <laughs> With the options, <laughs> don't get them options. Them that's options, deep, options bro. Play a cold part. And that's fucked up because you a talented little nigga, right? Bro. And it's like I know what you're going through. I just want. I wish you could talk about it more. That's what I'm saying. Because yeah. I know, I know what you're going through, and I know how creatively this shit can stump you. I know how it can make you feel like you can be at home frustrated, and and I deserve more, and I should have got Man, more, and world. I should have mm-hmm. yeah, and that shit can start to manifest. Know what I'm saying? It can start to now. It's showing in my attitude. It's showing in how I deal with things. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm mad mm-hmm. at even this new label I'm with. You bitches ain't moving fast mm-hmm. enough. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I've been through hell with this shit. Mm-hmm. And that's why it's important to vet this shit. But you were so young, like damn, dog. I don't know how to keep you because you're a talented little nigga, bro. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how you keep yourself. I don't know either, bro. But you gotta find it though. Do you have meetings with 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 Kevin Lyles and them? Like, do oh they, yeah, yeah, we, we been meeting. Some. Are they very supportive? Uh, do yeah, they I see? Gonna, it? I ain't gonna lie. When when when, when uh when we link up and shit, bro, I always drop me some knowledge on me and shit. He always like make sure that nigga in a in a good head space and shit. What about yeah, your yeah. feature game? Hell nah. I ain't gonna lie, my album right here. I got some cool features though. I got uh I got Gates on that bitch. I got uh I got Team Eastside Peas on now. Uh, I got Huncho. You you heard Huncho? Yeah yeah yeah. Right doing his thing right yeah, Shout out Huncho. I got a few motherfuckers on now, but the feature that I know that's gonna change shit. Now this is a good conversation. The it. feature thing with you. What do you think is contributes to you not getting the features you you need? I think uh, budgeting. Like budgets ain't high enough, you feel me? For the for the for the prices niggas be wanting when they hear labor reaching out, you feel me? Like if I ask a nigga, man, what you want? Well, I got fifty thousand right now. Nigga might go right. with it. But if a labor reach out, got them, oh yeah, man. Give me then the money. label reaching out to label people on the other side. So it's just a whole label conversation. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, he want three hundred. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like that type of shit. And then being that um. Uh, like I just got a negative like aura around my image in the in the industry. Who's telling you that? Uh, I'm looking at this shit. I'm I'm people. But I'm saying, what you what what make you think that? Because 